Hey everybody, I just wanted to showcase the new global matching database feature that we've got integrated and uh, I'm just going to clear the data from a previous scan here and we can take a look at it. So one thing I'll come back to is uh, we do have two new filters in here um, called uh, also show no match results and see only no match results. So the, uh, the thing with those is sometimes the software will um, find products that aren't a match at all for UPC or title matches and they'll toss those products to one side. So this way we can actually still have a peek at them and decide whether or not it's possibly something useful for um, us to take a look at and see whether there's any profit in there. And we can actually even match those with Amazon products manually and keep them permanently in the system so that they never register again as a no match product. So uh, I'm going to do a scan. We're going to look at collections etc. We'll pick uh, this second link here and we'll go from page one to page two. Now I'm picking this one particularly because I already ran a scan on this and matched a couple of products uh, a couple of days ago and I want to show you how those matches are still in the system. Alright, it begins to do its thing. Now, you can see here product one, this is one of the ones that I've matched and straight away it says, got the ASIN from the global base. So um, if I duck on over to view data, you can see that the background on this is now purple. So that means that uh, a human has come and overridden the, uh, the computer's matching algorithm. Now, that's cool, we might want to say, did the previous person match the data properly? We've got a little on-off switch here, which I can click. And we can have a look at see what the original match item was. And it's clearly not a match. Leave that turned on. So uh, here's another one, which is now a match that wasn't a match before. And if we scroll down a little further, we might see some here that are not matches. These two are clearly not a match. There's a couple of ways that I can go ahead and match match those items in the system. So um, one thing I can do is I can just outright find the ASIN, the correct ASIN on Amazon and enter that in here. Um, and I can do that by, uh, let's get ourselves over to Amazon by doing a quick search of the title. There we go, it's, uh, it's the second product on the list there. I might just uh, grab this ASIN. I've got a plugin there at the moment, uh, the DS plugin I believe, that uh, shows me the ASIN right there on the page. Now I'll pop back over here and I'll save that one there. And everything automatically updates. You've got the new buy box price, you've got the uh, FBA calculated price, and so on. Uh, this bathroom wall clock, let's search for the title on that. There we are. Edit the ASIN. Nice and easy. And if you don't want to, uh, if you want to take potluck and just scroll through the potential results on Amazon, you can easily just click the left or right buttons here. And in this case, it is the very next item on the list. So we can save that one there too. So we have gamified this. So um, if you go to the frequently asked questions, you can see down the bottom of the page that the, uh, June, the June rules, and I do intend to update these rules every month um, with a different, a different game. But for June 2016, there's different tiers. If you reach certain quotas of matches, you'll get a reimbursement uh, into the PayPal account and you should put your PayPal account in the settings menu. Um, now we do check the results and as long as we see accurate matches there, then we can count those results. And the good news is, is so far, um, the couple of hundred results that have come through the system so far have all been accurate. 
it's great we've had a couple of hundred in one day because we're just going to be getting uh, tens of thousands in a matter of weeks so when you're doing your searching and you see those purple lines you can be grateful to the other members of the community who've taken the time uh, whether whether selflessly or whether to play the game um, to make the overall matching experience uh, better experience for you and that's how it works